Hi all, in this video, let's learn about the different ways to check if a key is exist in the JavaScript object or not. So let's learn that. So this is a sample object. So constant user and I am having only one key and value. So let's find the all other ways to check whether the key is present or not. The first way is compare the key with the undefined. So compare it with undefined. So if it is undefined, then it is the keys not exist. So let me show you that. So I'm writing this console user object and I'm trying to access a property in that user object. If this is equal to undefined, it means that key is not there. Okay, so this returns as false because name is there. Okay, if the same you do like a, I'm copy pasting this if I do with ID is ID keys available in this object? No. So that's the reason it returns true. If the key is not available in this object, and if you compare that, if you try to access that key, so the value would be undefined. Now you're comparing that undefined value with the undefined value. So if you get the true, it means this key is not available in this object. So this is the first way, basic way. So instead of comparing this like this, you can also compare like plain compare. So this one also the fine, like a, just you can compare like this. If the key is present, it goes inside this. If block, if not, it will not go. So this is the first way. So let's discuss the second way. So here, this will work the first way only if the key, the given key, like you have a key and if the value is itself undefined. So in that case, this method will not work. Okay. If the value is not undefined other than this values, it, it will work fine. So now let's talk about the second way. Second way is has own property. So this is one thing. This is a method we have has own property. So where this method like uh, we need to search like this user dot has own property. So we need to check like this has own property. So and you need to specify the property name. Now what it returns if it returns true, it means this property is exists. If you write something, if the property like ID is not available in this object. So if I say ID, it returns false. So this is the second way with the help of this has own property method. You can easily understand like you, the object dot this property and you need to pass the key which you want to verify whether that key is available in the object or not. If it returns true, it means it is exist. If it is not, it returns false. So this is the second way. And let's discuss about the third way. So the third way is nothing but like it has has own so this is a new one so if which was introduced in es 20 2022 update so object so how it has is object dot has own with this you can find and you need to provide the object here dot and the property name so this is a syntax so this is same as this but uh, it was introduced in ES2022 update with a different structure like this object dot has own method. And here you need to specify the target object and its key. So now it returns true because this object is available. This key is available. So if I specify this as ID or another things, it will specify the false. So these two ways in these two ways, you, these two methods like has own property and has own these two methods will not be like a, they won't give the inherited properties. So for example, if any property was inherited from the parent, okay, these both written false for them. So other three ways they returns the true, but these two methods will return the false. The inherited properties will not be matched here with has own property and has own. Okay. And now let's discuss about the fourth way. The fourth way is nothing but in operator. So in JavaScript, we have an operator called in. So with the help of this in operator, you can find it. So here in this in operator, the syntax would be like this. So name in user object. So if it is true, so it means yes, the, the syntax is like key in object. So that is the syntax. Now, yes, name is available. This key is available in this object. So that's that's the reason it returns the true. So if the same if you go with the ID. So ID key is not available in this object. So what happens? It returns a false. So this is the easiest way the in operator to find out whether a key is available in the object or not. So this is a fourth way 
to know whether a key is available in the object or not. So now let's understand the fifth way. Fifth way is like we have a reflect method. So the reflect dot has. So this is a method. So this is a JavaScript utility method. So it helps us uh, to do all the JavaScript related operations. So with the help of this reflect dot has method, you can find out. So what is the syntax for this reflect? Reflect dot has and here you need to provide the target object and the key key in that object. So this is a syntax. So here what we are going to do is reflect dot has. What is the target object user? What is the property you want to check? That's a name. Yes. In this user object, yes, we have name property. So that's the reason it returns as true. So in the other part, if you keep ID here, it returns false. So this is a fifth way with the help of this reflect dot has method, you can do this. So these are the five different ways to check whether the key is present in an object or not in the JavaScript. So hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for the more videos.